Did you know that the largest dog breed, the English Mastiff, can weigh up to a whopping 230 pounds? That's about the same as a baby elephant. Now that's a lot of dog. In this video, we're taking a look at the giants of the dog world. We'll be counting down from 10, introducing you to some of the largest breeds, each more impressive than the last. From the muscular Tosa Inu of Japan to the towering Great Dane, these breeds all share one thing in common, their awe-inspiring size. But it's not just about their stature. These gentle giants each have unique characteristics and histories that add to their charm. So, prepare to be amazed as we journey through the world of these colossal canines, learning about their origins, their temperaments, and of course, their incredible size. Let's dive into the world of giant dogs, starting with the 10th biggest breed. Coming in at number 10, we have the Tosa Inu, a breed that hails from Japan. Known for its size and strength, the Tosa Inu is truly a formidable canine. Its sturdy build and muscular form are a testament to the breed's power. The Tosa Inu's history is as intriguing as its size. Originally bred for dogfighting, this breed's strength and endurance were highly prized. While the practice has since been largely discontinued, the breed's past is a stark reminder of its powerful legacy. Weighing anywhere from 100 to 200 pounds, the Tosa Inu is certainly not a lightweight. Its size, combined with its strength, makes it one of the most impressive dogs on our list. Despite its past, the Tosa Inu has proven to be a loyal and protective breed, making it a treasured companion to those who can handle its size and strength. From Japan's biggest dog, we now move on to France's heavyweight. At number 9, meet the Dogue de Bordeaux, also known as the French Mastiff. This breed is a classic powerhouse boasting a muscular build and a size that's just as substantial. Think of them as the bodybuilders of the dog world. Historically, the Dogue de Bordeaux was bred for a variety of tasks, from guarding estates to pulling carts. Their versatility is only matched by their size. And when we say size, we mean it. These gentle giants can tip the scales at a hefty 150 pounds, but don't be fooled by their formidable physique. These dogs are known for their calm demeanor and affable nature. They're just as happy to curl up for a nap as they are to take on a challenging task. From the vineyards of France, we travel to Italy for our next giant breed. Number eight on our list is the Neapolitan Mastiff, a breed that's as old as the Roman Empire. This ancient breed is a sight to behold with its unique physical features. The Neapolitan Mastiff is known for its loose, wrinkled skin, a characteristic that gives it a distinctive and memorable appearance. But don't let those wrinkles fool you. Underneath that droopy exterior is a large, powerful build, a testament to the breed's history as a guard dog in ancient Italy. This breed is a combination of strength and gentleness, a gentle giant that is as loyal as it is large. While their size can be intimidating, Neapolitan Mastiffs are known for their calm and peaceful demeanor, making them excellent family pets. Just like their Roman ancestors, they are a symbol of power and peace, a perfect balance in the dog world. Next, we journey to the mountains of Tibet. Coming in at number 7, we have the Tibetan Mastiff, a breed that's as sturdy as the mountains it hails from. The Tibetan Mastiff is an awe-inspiring sight, with its large, sturdy frame and thick double coat that helps it withstand the harsh Tibetan climate. This impressive breed is not just large in size, but also in character, known for its independent spirit and protective nature. Historically, these dogs served as guardians for Tibetan monasteries, proving their worth not just in size, but also in bravery and loyalty. Their thick double coat, which can be black, brown, or blue-gray, gives them an imposing presence, and their expressive brown eyes show a depth of intelligence that's hard to ignore. Their size is certainly impressive, with males reaching up to 33 inches at the shoulder and females slightly smaller. But it's their noble bearing and rich history that truly sets the Tibetan Mastiff apart. From the mountains of Tibet, we now head to the German countryside. At number six, we have the Leonberger, a German breed that's as majestic as a lion. Standing tall and strong, this breed is a true testament to its name, with a lush, lion-like mane and a dignified air that is simply captivating. The Leonberger is indeed a large dog, with males reaching up to 31 inches at the shoulder and females slightly smaller. Their distinctive appearance is only part of their charm. Originally bred as a symbol of the city of Leonberg in Germany, these dogs were designed to mimic the look of the city's lion crest. But they're not just for show. Leonbergers were bred to be working dogs, and they're well known for their versatility, having been used for everything from pulling carts to search and rescue. Their large size and striking appearance can be daunting, but don't be fooled. 
These gentle giants are known for their friendly and loving nature, making them excellent family companions. Next, we move on to a breed that's often mistaken for a small horse. Our number five breed is the Great Dane, a dog that's known more for its height than its weight. Majestic and towering, Great Danes hold a well-deserved reputation as one of the tallest dog breeds in the world. Unlike some other breeds we've discussed, these dogs aren't just about size, they're gentle giants, known for their friendly nature and love of play. They might have a commanding presence, but they're really just big softies at heart. And let's not forget their claim to fame from the world of cartoons. If you've ever watched Scooby-Doo, you've seen a Great Dane in action. Though most Great Danes aren't as skittish as our beloved Scooby, they do share his love of people and snacks. So there you have it, the Great Dane, towering, gentle, and a little bit famous. From the Great Dane, we now travel to the land of the Leprechauns. At number four, we have the Irish Wolfhound, a breed that's as tall as a donkey. Now imagine a pet that can look you in the eye without even standing on its hind legs. That's the Irish Wolfhound for you, one of the tallest dog breeds in the world. But don't let their towering stature intimidate you. These canine giants are known for their gentle disposition and friendly nature. They're often dubbed as gentle giants indeed. A bit of history for you. The Irish Wolfhound was originally bred for hunting wolves and elk in Ireland. Their formidable size and strength made them excellent hunters. However, their hunting days are long gone. Today, they're cherished as loyal companions and family pets. These dogs have a natural inclination towards being sociable and are known for their patience, especially with children. But remember, their size requires ample space and exercise. Next, we cross the Atlantic to meet a breed that's as good in water as it is on land. Our number three breed is the Newfoundland, a dog that's as adept in water as it is on land. This breed is known for its large size and robust strength, but what sets it apart is its extraordinary swimming ability. They are the aquatic athletes of the dog world, with their large webbed feet, thick double coat and muscular build making them exceptional swimmers. Originating from the Canadian province of Newfoundland, these dogs were bred to help fishermen haul nets and retrieve anything that fell overboard, including people. Their strength and swimming prowess made them invaluable as water rescue dogs. These gentle giants combine their impressive physical traits with a sweet-natured temperament, making them not just strong and capable, but also loving and loyal companions. So if you're looking for a dog that can fetch your newspaper and save your life in a water emergency, the Newfoundland might just be your breed of choice. We now head to the Swiss Alps for our next breed. Coming in at number two, we have the St. Bernard, a breed that's as large as it is helpful. This giant canine is nothing short of impressive, boasting a robust and powerful build that only adds to its grandeur. But don't let its size fool you, the St. Bernard is known for its gentle and friendly nature. Now let's take a trip back in time. Picture the Swiss Alps, harsh and unforgiving yet stunningly beautiful. This was the original playground of the St. Bernard. Bred for rescue work, these dogs were the unsung heroes, braving the treacherous terrain to locate and save stranded travelers. Their keen sense of direction and uncanny ability to predict avalanches were their tools, their strength and endurance, their allies. St. Bernard's truly embody the saying, the bigger they are, the harder they love. So if you're looking for a dog that's not just big in size but also big in heart, the St. Bernard is a perfect choice. Finally, we reach the top of our list. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the biggest dog breed in the world, the English Mastiff. The English Mastiff is a titan among canines, a veritable goliath in the dog world. This breed is famous for its enormous size and weight, often tipping the scales at a whopping 230 pounds. That's about the same weight as your average adult male panda bear, but don't let their colossal size intimidate you. English Mastiffs are renowned for their gentle nature. They're like giant teddy bears with hearts as big as their bodies. They are incredibly affectionate and protective, making them excellent family pets. They have a special affinity for children and are known for their patient and tolerant demeanor. These gentle giants are not just all about size and sweetness. They also have a rich and storied history. The English Mastiff's lineage can be traced back thousands of years to ancient civilizations. They were depicted in Egyptian art as early as 3000 BC and were mentioned in ancient Roman literature. They've served various roles throughout history, from war dogs to royal companions, proving their versatility and adaptability. Despite their historical significance, English Mastiffs are surprisingly low maintenance. 
they require moderate exercise and are quite content with a leisurely stroll around the neighborhood. They're also known for their low energy levels making them perfect for those who prefer a more relaxed lifestyle. Just make sure you have a big enough couch for them to sprawl out on. In terms of their diet, given their size, they do require a substantial amount of food. But don't worry, they're not fussy eaters. They're quite content with a balanced diet of high-quality dog food. Just be mindful of overfeeding, as they can be prone to weight gain. And there you have it, the top 10 biggest dog breeds in the world. Each of them is unique, but they all have one thing in common, their impressive size. From the Tosa Inu in Japan, to the English Mastiff in the UK, we've traveled the world exploring the biggest dog breeds. We've seen the impressive stature of the Tosa Inu, the substantial build of the Doge de Bordeaux, and the large, powerful Neapolitan Mastiff with its distinctive, wrinkled skin. We've admired the sturdy Tibetan Mastiff, the lion-like Leonberger, and the towering Great Dane. We've marveled at the height of the Irish Wolfhound, the strength and swimming abilities of the Newfoundland, and the large, powerful St. Bernard, a true rescue hero of the Swiss Alps. And finally, we've been amazed by the English Mastiff, one of the heaviest of all dog breeds. These dogs are not just big in size, but also big in heart, each with their unique qualities and characteristics. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of giant dogs. Until next time, remember, every dog, big or small, deserves love and care.